السلام عليكم my name is Dima Jawad Karam I'm a five stage University of Baghdad uh, College of Pharmacy uh, today we have a pharmacy seminar uh, randomized the trial of metformin evromectin and rifluvexamine we are a team Sara Tiba uh, Ruha my part is in protection and objective this is a screen short for our study uh, we have a simple introduction about uh, COVID-19. All of us know COVID-19 and how many people die because of that disease. COVID-19, highly contagious viral disease, caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome. First case was reported in Wuhan in Hobi province in China, late December 2019. Uh, so as we said, this disease, very disabling disease, it's uh, spread throughout the world in a very short span of time. That make World Health Organization to declare that disease as a pandemic in a March to, uh, uh, 11 to 2020. According to a biophysical modeling, which predict that uh, protein translation is anti-viral uh, target therapy, we choose three treatment: metformin, ivermectin, and fluvoxamine. Why we choose metformin? Because metformin show activity against the protein translation and also have antiviral agent under investigation as antiviral agent for uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome and other RNA virus. Have anti-inflammatory for uh, uh, it reduce the number of an interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 and uh, uh, reduce the risk of an inflammation and an thrombosis. Uh, protection against uh, lipopolysaccharide induced lung injury. And we have observation study said that patient treated previously with metformin, for example, for a DM associated with less severe COVID-19. This point make me choose a metformin. When we talk about ivermectin, also show an vitro activity against severe acute respiratory syndrome. We have a small randomized clinical trial on a volunteer 398 volunteer. All of them volunteer uh, healthy, no comorbidities, and take Evermectin in a dose 300 microgram per kilogram, but no any resolve in a symptom. So ongoing use of Evermectin here in this uh, a study because they saw that the dose of ivermectin was low so more data is needed when we talk about fluvixamine also have anti-inflammatory activity mediated by uh, sigma 1 receptor we have two randomized clinical trial previously done on fluvixamine in a dose 100 milligram associated with reduction in the hospitalization in uh, 25%. But 100 mg of reflovixamine also associated with adverse effect and uh, untolerated. So they decide to decrease the dose uh, to a 50 mg. The early treatment to prevent uh, severe coronavirus disease was uh, uh, to prevent uh, the severe acute respiratory uh, syndrome for reason. Uh, owing vaccine, owing to wanting a vaccine efficacy, decrease the vaccine efficacy, and emergence of a new virus. I mean, a new series of a uh, 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 new series of a virus. Access to a current outpatient therapy remain limited because this disease is a pandemic. Serious drug drug interaction may prevent use, and the monoclonal antibody effectiveness decreased. Why? due to cholangies of uh, viral evolution. When we talk about critique, for critique mean opinion, my opinion about this study. Uh, previously, we said an early outpatient uh, uh, treatment uh, to prevent the severe uh, COVID-19 remain limited. Why remain limited? Because all of the three treatments are effective. And uh, some uh, volunteer here in this study may take two medications, for example, Evermectin and Metformin or Evermectin and Flovixamine, and this medication may be further some and associated with adverse effect. And there is no follow-up for a possible adverse effect related to combination, as we previously said. But they mention just a little things that adverse effect associated with a high dose of Flovixamine, no uh, other uh, follow-up. This is was my part. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy your time. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Fal and now we will talk about the method. This study was done in the United States and the patient included should have a special criteria. First, the age should be between 30 and 85 years and they must be 
obese or at least overweight. Why? Because these patients have a higher risk for COVID-19 complication. Third, diagnosed with COVID-19 positive within three days. And finally, have symptoms within at least seven days. So as you know, this is a clinical trial, phase three, that includes 13 to 23 patients non-hospitalized. Those patients were divided into six groups, randomized by a shiny up white to avoid selection bias, and each of these groups receive either a placebo or control group. None of the patient or healthcare provider know what inside the pill. And that's called double blind. يعني لا المريض ولا الهيلث كير بروفايدر يعرف شنو داخل هاي الكبسولة مثل ما تلاحظون from inside from outside they are exactly the same. So this study was multi-center double blind randomized placebo, which is the highest evidence study. The study started in 2020 December and ends in 2022 January. So this is study include uh, alpha, delta, and omicron. The study design was two by three approach. They divided the patient into six groups and each group received either two medication like metformin and blufoxamine or received at least one medication and one placebo like metformin and placebo. So let's remember what are the treatment. First, we use metformin 1500 milligram daily for 14 days. Second, fluvoxamine 50 milligram twice daily. For 14 days you can see that we use a low dose of fluvoxamine why because they say that a higher doses can lead to side effects so the patient can't tolerate it and it drop out of the study فقال لك خلينا نستخدم دوزات صغيره من البدايه لتجنب البيشنت دروب اب ايضا عندنا الايفرمكتين اللي هو 390 ميكروغرام to 400 ميكروغرام كي per kg for three days and finally we have a placebo if you want to do analysis for metformin حتى اقارن من متفورمين بلاسيبو مثلا ممكن نقارن مثل الجروب الاول المؤشر بالاصفر بالمقابلة يعني اقارن متفورمين زائد الفلوفوكسامين versus فلوفوكسامين بلاس بلاسيبو كأنما الفلوفوكسامين حيمحو تأثير الفلوفوكسامين وتكون المقارنة متفورمين versus بلاسيبو وهكذا بالنسبة لبقية الجروبات اللاحظ شلون قسمناها الى متفورمين زائد ايفرمكتن متفورمين زائد بلاسيبو والى اخره هسه وصلنا الى الاوتكم ميجر وي هاف ا برايمري اند سكندري اوتكم ميجر من خلال هاي المجر حنقارن ما بين الدراج ماسي والبلاسيبو اشوف هل لها تاثير على تقليل الكوفيد 19 كومبليكيشن اور نوت اشوف البرايمري اوتكم within 14 days of taking the drug هل قلت الهايبوكسيميا which is oxygen saturation less than 93 هل قلت الهوسبيتاليزيشن والامرجنسي ديبارتمنت فيزيت وذ ديث اور نوت والسكندري اند بوينت شلون من خلال uh, اشوف الديلي سيبتم سيفيريتي اسال المريض 39 كويستشنز ونشوف السكور هل هاي الادويه اثرت على السيفيريتي مال المرض او لا now we reach to the result as you see in here the primary end point the, the adjusted odd ratio for primary composite end point by 14 days figure show the following the p value for metformin ivermectin and fluvoxamine all were not below 0.05 and that unfortunately mean they have no significant effect on reducing COVID-19 complication. ولكن هنا استخدمنا فلوفوكسامين بجرعة صغيرة أكو other clinical trials have used فلوفوكسامين at higher dose 100 mg twice daily and it show improvement in COVID-19 complication. فممكن other clinical trials in future of higher doses reduce the COVID-19 complication. نلاحظ بأنه هو الانترفال مال المتفورمين was very tight with 95 uh, confidence interval, interval of ivermectin and fluvoxamine was very wide. Now we reach to the critique. So this study was a very high evidence, but we notice a high number of patients drop out of the study. So I really recommend offering an encouragement uh, tool for the patient, like offering a free lab test, HbA1c, or free check up periodically to encourage patients to continue the study. Second, they use a home oximeter, which is not accurate and can affect the result. Finally, if this study was done in Iraq, there is a difficulty in following up the patient, and there is Iraqi patient stigma about this clinical trial. If you ask them to join, they think this is a disrespect for them, and you are treating them like mice. Finally, there is. A, I think that we must continue doing new clinical trials for this drug for a long period of time with more people because it's important to find safer and more cheap and uh, with this side effect medication that used to reduce COVID-19.
السلام عليكم أنا طالبة ضحى عقيل طالبة فرام دي In the part of the results, if we just look as more objective information of emergency department visit, hospitalization or death, we start to, uh, to see some finding here of statistical significant metformin. Now, it's able to reach a statistical significant in the term of its confidence interval at 0.58. For average ivermectin actually rises up even further at 1.39. And fluvoxamine also rises up above unity at 1.17, uh, meaning that metformin with the secondary endpoint of adjusted odd actually see to show uh, some uh, possible benefit at least in obese patients. In the conclusion, we start to talk about metformin starting, uh, starting at dose of 15 mg daily without dose adjustment, uh, just starting is of uh, which may be have causes the side effect and discontinuous. If you don't look at intention to the treat, but rather in the uh, very protocol analysis, hospitalization occur in 8 of 168 patients in metformin group, and in the 14 of 179 patients at 7.8% at, at in the control group. So that means if you stick with the program and adherence to it, actually may improve hospitalization. And a higher dose of metformin may not improve any anti-inflammatory action of the dose in the recent study of macular degeneration. And also metformin immediate release formulation, a higher peak of the exposure than extend release. So uh, may be relevant in the SARS-CoV-2 infection. So you don't want to take the time to get up to the level that you uh, that you need. Uh, you, want, uh, you want to get it up right away. And so this extend release formulation may not the best thing to use. So maybe use of the immediate release. If we're going to, uh, to talk about uh, fluvoxamine and again, uh, the low dose of uh, 50 milligram twice daily didn't find prevents anything. In the uh, two randomized double blind placebo control trials investigation found that a higher dose at 100 milligram two to three times daily resulted in 25 to the three to the 30 percent reduction in the hospitalization or prolonged emergency department stay. That means we need a higher dose to produce effect, especially in the patient with the overweight or obese. And finally, ivermectin and uh, didn't find any evidence uh, prevents primary events in U.S. adults who are 30 years old of age or older and hair weights or uh, overweight or obese. If at the previous randomized trial of the ivermectin at the dose of the 300 microgram per kilogram per day, uh, per day didn't show um, any significant effect. So we choose the higher dose of uh, 430 microgram. And this is a median dose, 430 uh, microgram per kilogram. And ivermectin, one of the drugs, has been studied around the world, and the effective uh, greatest uh, in patients with the chronic uh, strong, uh, strongly OEDs, that is parasitic infection, destroyed by the ivermectin. And so uh, what's the key being the strongly OEDs at the bay is the immune system. That's why they have a chronic infection, but when they come down with a severe COVID-19 or uh, COVID-19 causing hypoxemia, they might get put on dexamethasone. And what's going here is that knock out the immune system and allow strongly OEDs to take over it. The ivermectin may be actually benef uh, beneficial in keeping these people alive because get rid of this chronic infection. In the summary, none of the three medications that were evaluated to prevent the occurrence of the hypoxemia, emergency department visit, uh, hospitalization or even death associated with the COVID-19. In the recommendation, the study was limited by the following. Number one, only the patients with overweight or obese were enrolled, and very few of them uh, were black people. And uh, the metformin show potential uh, benefit in the uh, relation to more severe components of the primary endpoint in the previous five secondary analysis, because it was specified uh, 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 findings were not definitive, so maybe you need further of the study. And uh, finally, other study showing benefit to the fluvoxamine and the COVID-19 is a higher dose. A very critique, in my opinion, the study was only uh, for overweight people, and overweight may be a risk for another disease, like cardiovascular disease, DM, or high lipid profile. And that disease may be um, made a drug with no effect. So the study was luck about if the patient uh, has another disease. Thank you for listening. This is our team had made card to remember the research days for students and teacher. 
The best thing that we have learned is how to work as a teamwork out of our comfort zone. So at the end, thank you for your listening.